impressionism. Hey, Emoji. I hope you're doing great. Thanks for coming on in, baby girl. I'm, I'm currently in a move, so I'm not in the same position in the same studio setup as I normally do at my house. But it does give a chance for Yuki to say hello. So let's go ahead and talk about what we're going to do today. Today, I'm going to be working with, of course, my Pro Air paint, body paint made specifically for humans. And you can use it on animals as well. It works great for hair. And it's the same brand they use for Guardians of the Galaxy, The Walking Dead, and um, Skin Wars and things like that. Baby girl, if you don't act good, I'm gonna have to put you in the crate. Oh, she's looking at me like, ooh, why daddy, why daddy? So let's go over some of the colors we're going to go ahead and use today. I'm gonna go ahead and use two different brands. Uh, these are both professional body paint brands but I am going to use a specialized glaze mine by Endura or European Body Art. This has got an ultraviolet glaze that I'm gonna put over the white to give it a hue. Uh, the image that I'm gonna be going to show you with in regards to overlay is this alien face image with a Illuminati eye. Uh, last class that we had, I was talking about doing imagery and my philosophy on how I approach thinking about body painting, where I think about it either in makeup, and I use makeup to color the body and a darker and a highlight to contour abs and make things pop out. I can think about it in regards to a costume. I can draw a vest on this gentleman here, a pair of slacks, some pockets, and then break those up into shapes. Um, or I can go ahead and do a, a mural or something like I did with Yuki, with Impressionism, where it's really just trying to do a scenery or a landscape and provide some kind of depth in and out so you can go ahead and see the distance between that landscape. Hey, what's up, Kelly guy? So you can see the distance in there. And then also what we're gonna be doing today, which is like a image, a image. So, for those that just came in, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of lead off from where I left off from last class and go to like more layers and bigger amount of layers when you were doing an image. If you came to last class, unfortunately I put, actually, you know what? I think I do have last class in the garage. So let me go ahead and unclip oh i gave myself a screen unclip open up and we can now go ahead and talk a little bit more about different kinds of layers that you can do when approaching paint so that was just my garage door opening yeah my house is all barren been doing a move i'm really excited new beginnings new starts new adventures So let's see where last class is. Hmm. So just a little bit of like some of the stuff I do. A lot of costume work. This headpiece was used on George Clinton. I, I actually used this doll head in regards to classroom work as well, but for professionals. Um, this is a Vidal Sassoon kind of symmetric, asymmetrical bob. Worked round on the front and we talk about some prosthetics. And here's another technique right here where if you can see that there's one circle, but there's another circle that overlaps on top of it, sometimes it'll be light on top or dark on top, but they'll make a certain kind of depth. And if you stagger them, it'll make stuff kind of pop out. That's a stencil technique. This right here is made out of um, window blinds. And let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I seriously thought last week's class was here. I could have moved it to the new place or storage, but I didn't. 
Well, back to the show and why I'm at here. This is this is an ombre I did with airbrush color. You don't have to color your hair crazy color. I can go ahead and color it with airbrush and you can wash it out. But yeah, uh, that's not probably going to be the next class I do in regards to airbrushing is airbrush hair. It's really fun, really quick, really easy. With the right products, anybody can do it. And that's my goal with some of the stuff I'm doing is just to make stuff that everybody can do. People can have a fun time with doing. Um, for me, it's not being the best artist. It's being the greatest span of artists. So just adding up multiple techniques and multiple things in order to make a great overall image. Let me go ahead and close this garage and give it one quick more look. Hmm. But yeah, that's exactly how we do it. I'm going to just go ahead and set out a blast. Hey, little kitten, how you doing? So, I hope you're doing well. I saw that you just came in. I was just looking for last week's class, but unfortunately I didn't have it. Okay, okay. So this week's class, I'm gonna go ahead and go in more detail, more layers in regards to doing the image technique. Um, but let's go ahead and slap some stuff out. So what our image is gonna be is a Illuminati theme. Alien. So really cool, really stoked about this. Um, I'm going to be using a gravity feed gun or a top feed. Gravity is gonna flow through here and it's gonna pull out. You can do ombre techniques with this by having two different colors and they blend through. It also helps prevent from uh, your kit getting clogged because all the chunks and all the fat waste go out first. Um, salute, Mal, you doing well today, kitten? So I'm not going to really worry about being absolutely perfect right here. <laughs> I promise I won't. I'm not going to worry about being too perfect. Uh, but what I am going to be worried about, especially with this white color, is other colors contaminating or mudding it out or any kind of cross splint. Um, normally when I set up and I'm doing a body paint, mm -hmm. I like to start with the medium color mm -hmm. for my background. And, and basically like it will be a green, it will be a medium green. So that way I could have a highlight green and a low light or a border shape green. Um, I do quickly, sloppily just use black to border my stuff. I, it's not the best way to do it. It's just the quickest, fastest way. Um, and that's, that's one of the things that I do just because I work doing stuff at a quick, fast pace. And I can pull out from the gun. It's a, it's got an iris. So when I go ahead, first I should plug this thing in. So I'm going to ahead and turn this on. When I go like this, it's just shooting air. But once I go like this and pull back, then it starts going. And as it pulls back, this needle slides back, opens up the iris, and opens it up. And I can see that there's contaminants even in the gun right now. I see a little bit of pink fading through, but I'm okay with that. And I'll just go ahead and use this. Um, just for purposes, to get this to sit well, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little piece of paper.
That'll work out just fine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make this a quick, quick spot so I know where everything is. Remember how I told you for me it's about speed. And I'll help me get some of this pink out. And I'm okay if I cover this up and it's a little bit lighter because there's a technique called rim light. And it can really make the image that I did really lighten up. So now that I got that image of where I need to fill in, let's go ahead and just attack that with some white. Well, gotta work out this setup a little bit more. Well, thankfully it's only going to be temporarily. Oh. Light went out. I'll go ahead and try it again in a minute. But I just really want to fill up this hole. So I'm going to go ahead and grab more white color. Always make sure to shake up your paints really, really well. Hey, Carmen. I'm going to stand back to make sure that I can see that there's even saturation of this white. There we go. Now that I've, now that I've busted the, the whole goop of this, this white here, I'm going to go ahead and try to fix these hoses a bit. There we go. That pose looks a lot better. I'm going to unplug this light, stick it back in. Let's see if that works. That didn't work for this light. And this thing felt really, really hot. But it's okay. Another light right here. That can work a little bit more. So I'm going to just probably go ahead and do one more blast of white. I'm going to put the cap on here real good. I want to make sure that there's no chunkiness, no bad stuff that's going to go ahead and clog my gun. Um, Murphy's loss is anything bad that could happen will happen. And with airbrushing, it happens all the time. I suggest having multiple guns. And you might find you're going to have to do what I'm doing and take off the nozzle tip. Now that's got a good, good looking white face going through there. I'm gonna go ahead I probably shouldn't do that. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and make a lighter tone. I'm going to grab some blue. Let's shake this up. Let's shake this blue up really good. And I'm working with all pre-COVID stuff, so it's probably really, really old. But my sponsors give it to me, so it's free. And it's an amazing product. It's the top American, one of the two top American body paint companies. So you see, I just put my finger on here. You're probably seeing the thing bubble. It's called a back bubble. And now I made a nice baby blue.
And let's just go ahead and take it real close to where that was at. So let's talk about some of these strokes that I'm doing. Uh, let's do a little bit faster. Um, what you can do is practice is doing a ball and then fading out. Doing a ball, doing a line, stopping to a ball. You can also go ahead and axis. Try to make them all look the same. I'm normally standing in front of everything. Um, another great thing is doing density. So you can do balls. And then trying to make every ball the same distance away and the same concentration of paint. These are all good stroke technique things to, to be aware of and to learn. So I don't want to make any hard lines so you can see that even though I'm coming in, I'm fading out, I'm not stopping to reduce the ball effect right there. I'm a little too, too close to the line right here, but it's okay. We'll come back in and do more detail in a bit. So we got this guy coming in. Let me go ahead and erase some of this. Doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Get something into here. And I got a little bit of color still left. Let's go ahead and start thinking about some body contour. I'm gonna color dye, and I'm okay with that. It, this, this, this sky or whatever is behind them, it needs more energy. It seems kind of like too friendly, too, too nice. I'm gonna go ahead and grab uh, from the zombie colors, I'm gonna grab some vein blue, vein blue. So now, now I'm going into the mindset of like how I was saying about going into the mindset of creating a mural where I create a landscape or a, a mural or a landscape where I show characters and depths in between them. And let's say this is the bottom part of the shoulder. So let's do some contouring. <laughs> Sometimes I'm a bad boy. Let's start getting some of this anatomy out. slightly dusting over that previous blue. And now you see how it's kind of rim lighted. That white, it's got like a rim light around it. So it, it's going to give it, when I put this darker line here, it's gonna give it even more of a flotation off the body. Yuki booty. Stop it. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the one blue I buffered out. We're all still staying in the blue family besides that white little spot. So now we're getting some escape in here. And I'll probably, after I get done doing some of this blue, I think I think I need some other color in there. It's, it's looking too much like ocean to me now. I guess I'm doing the cheeks for the ladies. I don't even think the bottom of his cheeks even show, but hey, 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 that was way too much blue. I just put in that cup. Yuki, we are not, we are not barking right now. We're not doing any of that jazz. And guys, she's been out. Okay, it, and my, my hardest thing to do, because I always want to do it, always want to do it, is resort back to pink. I love pink. I might do it. And I'm, I'm, I'm sticking with certain colors, because I'll feel certain things. Um, that is looking pretty sky blue ocean. I'll come back in there with more, uh, more vein in a little bit. So just to be quick and to try to keep my colors more true, I'll go ahead and throw out the bowl in here with a little bit of uh, rubbing alcohol. I suggest using isopropyl alcohol, it's a little bit stronger, but with the Pro Air, it's not a big deal. Now that other product, the Endura, you probably want to do that with the isopropyl alcohol. Uh, that's why I'm going to go ahead and use that product last. Last. So, um, green, no. Let's go ahead with the kind of sunset kind of feel. Start pulling it in. Or should I bring in different shades? Um, maybe I need to bring a shape edge in. Hmm, sunset. Guys, should I do a sunset kind of theme? Or should I have shapes coming off and out? I think I need to have shapes coming off and out. Um, I'll go ahead and do that freehand. Freehand. If I'm going to do that, probably do it. Can't go apart with purple. Uh, who am I going to go with pink? I don't want to do pink. I always love pink. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll do both. I'll do, I'll do a purpose on the back end. Should have just kept the blue. Should have cleaned out the blue thing. I wasted a step. I wasted a whole step. But it's okay. It's okay. So for the sanctitude of speed, 
I'm going to go ahead and use this stencil. I wind up using these Christmas tree stencils a lot uh, until they get burnt out or until I burn them out. Yeah, I should have went over with the orange. You know what? These are weezers. Until I get burnt out or until something happens. So I'm going to just use this to make an imaginary orange. Remembering what part I got it from. And now I'm going to just try to match it up in the same spot. It's always a little booger to do. It's always nice if you can go like that. I definitely, before I want to start, I'm going to check my tank, make sure I have enough. So what I'm going to do is probably use this, create a borderline edge, um, do a sunset kind of theme through here, and then have the alien blah, 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 with the kind of lacy kind of part through here inside the actual clothing line. I'm going to come back and kind of get my read image back up here. See that the star was on that part of the butt cheek coming up to there. And recognize that the star is coming up to that part of the book sheet and coming up to there. And boom. Just like that. Go on the other side. And to make a hard line on here. Let's just go ahead and, oh, thank you. Yeah, Kyle, I'm, I'm painting that shit. We'll just go ahead and make those booty shorts that I always get busted for on this freaking meeting. Now I'm going to just grab some more of this purple and start fading stuff in. Yep, those are booty shorts, sir. Those are my booty shorts. I'm um, going back to my philosophy of what I'm saying. I make images, I make murals based off that as landscapes and features within that that make stuff pop out. Um, and then I make clothes. Um, this is what I see when I body paint. This is what I, I, I think of. Um, when I do a lot of this stuff that I do. And let's just go ahead and, and take this booty short shape. Remember that this went transverse that way. And let's go ahead and make this into a bodysuit. Or do, do, I, do I want to make Kyle happy? Let's go ahead and make Kyle happy and make it a two piece, two piece top, two piece top, booty shorts for Kyle and, and bikini top for everybody else. So let's, let's, let's cut off some of this edge right here because we want to keep this booty shorts. Nice and juicy for our buddy Kyle, right? Booty shorts for my buddy Kyle. Let's 
So if that was going this way, I wanted to curl in it and do an opposite shape here. Feel it. I'm putting that right there. Kind of moved a little bit, but that's okay. And you guys won't see any of that booty shorting over there anyways. And I'll go ahead and see if I have my other thing and I might block it out to make a stitch line. Stitch line might be pretty dope. Something like that, something like this, something like that, something like this. Oh, that's a little bit dirty. I'm going to pat it, pat it, pat it, pat it, pat it, pat it. And maybe give myself a few more drops. Is that good, good? See, that girl is just such a beast. Such a beast my girl is. She wants to kill that neighbor dog. I pity the fool. I pity the fool. Thank you. Yes, come on. Yuki, that's not acceptable behavior. There we go. Well, let's go ahead and make some dimension through here. Beat out that line to the butt looks nice. Gotta have them nice cheeks. Gotta have them nice cheeks. Yeah, that, that's probably a little bit better. And I'll do the fading cheek line and the thing over here as well. We gotta have them nice cheeks. The girls want to shave, uh, the girls want to uh, share them cakes. That's what they call it, cakes, right? Look at them cakes now, man. They're a little body comfortable with this purple. Get some more of this purple out, anyways. <laughs> and let's make this an interesting looking bikini. I'm going to flip it out the reverse way to the actual <laughs> horizon part. So last time I pushed out with the negative, this time I'm going to push in. With stencils, we do negative and positive space. If they're dirty or you paint on something and it presses on something, that's a stamp technique. And you know what? Let's go, let's go a little romantic. I'm gonna do a tattoo style. 
just romanticize some of this shit because it's faster and I'm a little bit bored. I, I do a personality test. My company teaches 14 to 16 personalities. Um, I sum it down to three. And from those three, I realized I have a romantic personality. And I really just stick to that, so fuck it. That's easy if that works, right? Don't try to break the wheel. That's enough ledge, I think. I probably shouldn't have done the second row. I probably should have kept it with the reverse. But hey, it's not a mistake, it's a mistake. And it's a great way for me to show you. How to blend certain things in. Just over spraying. And then I'll probably come in here with orange and blue over spray and come in here with some, some more shit. Just to give it more color. So yeah, this is going to work out. And I can see that it's it's starting to read well. Starting to read well. You're starting to read well. Pat this stencil out a little bit. Hope everybody's doing well. For those who just came or who, who didn't hear the intro. This is Make a Model, where I show you everything it takes to become a model and how we make models for TV and shows. Uh, currently, I'm doing a body paint class. She rocking. She rocking. And this angle should have been a little bit tilt more. I'm going to go ahead and cheat it. And that got it a little bit more on base. Once I block it in, it'll be a little bit better off. Grab my Pro Air. And I do want a slight bit of darkness in this look. Um, darkness is just a little bit easier for me to produce amazingly or better looking stuff. Now we got a little bit of flow in. We got we got the background taken care of. Let's go into doing some details and just a little bit of highlighting and everything. Um, little stuff in the shapes that are are not completely done right. There, kind of balance that out. It's 
trying to see how that reads. Okay, I'm gonna grab some ice purple. Time for me to j jam. And thank you for coming up and seeing Make a Model. Um, this is the show where I show you all the behind the scenes, what it takes to become a model. Uh, I get people from Meet Me. I get people that are real models. I get people that are inspiring models. It really doesn't matter as long as that you're willing to go ahead and check out art and appreciate art. I'm down to help anybody out. Um, I also have a team. In my team, I have professional makeup artists. I have professional photographers and videographers. Uh, I also have models too that are, are award-winning or famous models uh, that are gonna start participating shortly in regards to being model coaches. Okay, so I wanna go ahead and still use this same gun. I'm gonna start grabbing color tones. I'm starting to grab color tones in the warm family. That was a cool family. So in order to make this shit look clean and clear and true, true to true to the color tones, I'm gonna be working with yellow and orange Kyle uh, to make it true to those color tones. I don't wanna make sure this gun's completely clean of any of that cool color. Now, to keep it truer to each color tone, I'm gonna to start off with the lightest of the warmest colors. I'm gonna start off with yellow. I know. So there's a couple of cool things that you can do with the skin technique. Uh, this negative space. Let me give me a... There we go. You see how it popped out of orange a little bit? This negative space, I can kind of flow right into it. And kind of fill that up kind of like it, like with a, a light hue. And even though I'm going over something that has a certain kind of line into it. Right in that empty space, it fills in without blotching into the holes. And I don't have my I don't have my uh, my black light here anymore. But this is all UV reactive paint. So it's going to go ahead and pop crazy in the black white. Um, so I'm going to play with this kind of technique a little bit. I'm going to do another nice little squirt of yellow. And once I get done with the yellow, I'm going to do some orange. And once I get done with the orange, I'm gonna just do the quick sloppy shit that I said and not do it the appropriate way like I should do it. <laughs> but just gonna go ahead and use black. Uh, really, I mix up a darker purple tone and hit this or a charcoal gray and then probably would do this face in black just so it have some stark, stark feeling to it. And then that way I know it popped out higher than um, than the actual the actual outfit does. So now I'm gonna grab that orange. I'm gonna shake, 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 shake it up. Um, shake, shake, I shake it up. So I'm gonna ask myself, 
how do I want it to, to fill in? Dude, that thing didn't even want to open up for me. I'm going to shake that thing up. Really good. It feels sloshy. I'm going to just open up the cap thing. Let's go straight through this way. Put this back on. Might have had the, the film on there. It shouldn't have, though, because they have the squirter. I don't care if it has a little bit of yellow popping off on there. That's okay. And just, you know, coming in there, kind of lightly doing it. And if you can see, I'm doing the dark color and I'm going under it, but I'm even okay with me going on the overlapping and going on the hard side. Uh, when you do the darkness, it's going to make it float down if you put it on the bottom. If you do the lightness and you put it on the top, it's going to make it float up. So I blowed all that out. There was one thing I forgot to do, forgot to forgot to do with the yellow. I had it in there is do the pyramid of the Illuminati eye. So I'm gonna just go ahead before I go any further with anything. I don't wanna fight that black. I don't wanna fight the blackness. So I'm gonna just go right ahead and clear out the tube again. No, it's not a big deal. And I probably will go ahead and get another piece of tape real quick. And go right here. Great thing about the airbrush gun. Great thing about, the, oh my goodness, that's not good though. Great thing about the airbrush gun is that, and a bad thing, you're gonna use a lot more paint. Uh, only up, up, up to forty percent. Not forty percent, but up to forty percent goes on to the client or to the surface that you're actually working with. I'm gonna go ahead and get a new, new piece of paint. Um, only up to. What's that mean? That means all the rest is dissipating in the air. And going off in the air. The great side about it is when you're practicing with a doll like this, it dries immediate against the skin, so it's not a biggie, biggie, biggie. Oh, that'll work. So I'm moving. Normally I have tape everywhere, but I don't have tape. So what I'm actually using is lint roller paper. So totally MacGyvering this shit. And that looks about right. Well, I might have to hold it up. There we go. Take her down. Put her on the ground. Um, also, too, whenever you're body painting a person, be highly aware of how their body's morphing and contouring. Wherever position they move their body in on one side, it has to be exactly the same body position on the other side. So that can suck. This feels kind of squirrely, dude. So I'm going to just go ahead and put my leg underneath her leg or his leg and just go ahead and get in there. Taking this triangle. Got a little bit of orange still left in this tube. 
And now we got this Illuminati triangle. Come in, come in, come in, come in, come in, clear that shit out. Oh, nice little triangle right through there. Um, got the triangle, got this, got the yellow, yellow, yellow. Um, can perps, maybe I should perp some bodysuit just, just for this, this booty shorts. And since I'm moving to the black color, the perps will come in, no problem, and I don't have to clean out the gun or anything. Mal! Oh, oh, oh. And like I said, in, if I really wanted to do it, I probably wouldn't do the bodysuit outline in black, it'd probably be a darker purple or charcoal gray. But for demonstration purposes, it's going to be more than adequate. And I probably won't go as solid. I'll probably just do outline on the actual stencil bit a little bit. And so I don't get rid of all this cool colorization I did. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. let's go ahead and cross over to something that I see that matches and really just do a bold line on part of it. And see where that part is right here? Make a solid character. Do another bold line on part of it. And fill that in. That way it really looks like booty shorts. You can see it's now hugging the ass. Because the shapes are creating a line of movement. So this hugs the ass. All right, so I'm gonna go back on the other side, just give it one quick sloppy pop. Yeah, that's enough perps. That's enough perps, just need enough to go over this spot over right here and do the same thing. Just imaginary, uh, a loose spot right around here, just so it doesn't look connected and give it, give it a spot from, a disconnection from where the dreaminess of the previous drawing is. Okay. Max density right there. Going with the body contour a little bit and just keep some of that dreaminess. So I, I left it open here. You see this open spot there? That way it can flow in the open spot here. That way it can flow into like kind of a bodysuit, but then into this mural going into this image. And let's, I'm gonna check how it reads right there. And I think I'm going to just go ahead. Should I? Should I not? Um, I think I should. Technically, I should. I feel like it's just too much of a block spot. Um, seeing what I could put there. Um, yeah, I should. It's going to be the fastest. It's going to pick up the most area. Yeah, I should. And that's part of about doing show work. It's like, uh, can I do better? Yes. Do I have time? No. Okay. 
And that's why they love me, love me at, um, at parties and events. Because really this is time consuming stuff. Right in, right in there. That's how we do it. This is how we do it. <laughs> I like that thing. <laughs> Yuki, stop it. So I did a little faintness on there. And the less you pull back on the gun, the less color molecule will get onto it. It'll make it lighter, but it also will sometimes make it seem like some of this stuff is further away and closer, depending on how much distance you use. Less distance makes it look further away, more distance makes them closer. And that can really, Now my mind's going, you need pink, Michael, you need pink. Oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, but let's get some impact right away to a great on time. Let's get the most impact needed. Oh, no. Am I in big trouble with my black bean gone? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Only a little bit of black in there. Only a little bit of black in there. So let's go ahead and deal with real life problems, the real life solutions to see what needs the most. Eyeballs. Eyeballs definitely need a lot of black. Um, details within that going to need a lot of black. Um, Yuki, daddy's going into mental focus. Go ahead and check the paint bucket. Check, 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 paint bucket, paint bucket, paint bucket, paint bucket. See what we got. See what we got. Yuki booty. Daddy wants you to relax. See some darkish blue. Hmm. All right. So let's have Big Michael think of something amazing. Um, by adding some white to this black. I really thought I had more black. I was debating on doing some airbrush tattoos for a date later on tonight. <laughs> and I'll shake this up. And I can probably put some purple on there as well. Make it concentrate on more paint. Let me close that, shake that up. That's maybe enough. I would like to see more. I would like to see something a little bit more. Ooh. 
blue. I found this this Metello green. Yeah. Try to pimp some stuff, <laughs> making something out of nothing. That's how we do it. Welcome to Artist Life. So what's the most important thing? Image, image, image. So let's get right into the image. Grab the old gun. Get whatever this black's gonna look like. It's got some white in there. Well, this is looking straight charred. Yeah, that's looking too charcoaly. I'm gonna have to come over here and get into these bottoms. I can throw more perp in it. Let me just tag your targeting and light. This is just giving soft overlays. And that's cool too. Gonna make it float more. It actually works kind of cool for, for the, the purple lines. So I, I can I can do it. I can do it with this, the bodysuit at least. And it's definitely starting to look more like a bodysuit. Yuki booty, stop causing trouble. The paint's starting to get a little bit darker. Getting closer to that old black, starting to stay position. It's kind of where it's at. Let's go ahead. Tramp stamp that right there. Tramp stamp that right there. I'm just using little parts of this to 
gonna make little splashes of stars. Little starbursts. I'm just trying to use up the paint with some artistic lines. Okay, so I'm going to have to make this really, really dark um, and to give it a little bit of pop. Ooh, this is going to be interesting, 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 interesting. So what color can I make those eyes? Or how can I make this color right here a little bit more black looking? Black looking. Screw it. I'm going to go ahead and just wash this out. And I might go ahead and use a green for the head. Cheating stuff a little bit. This is going to be kind of a, a no, 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 because I'm switching to the brand. I wanted to use the last because it's more of an alcohol base besides this hybrid base like I'm using now. So let's go ahead and do that and God be with me, right? I'm gonna grab some of this luminescent, translucent stuff. Not even open, oh Lord. Lucky, lucky me, lucky me, lucky me. Absolutely love Endura. Next thing you know, I'm gonna use this. It's a beautiful color. I love this color. There's something about a green. A green one, it's sexy. A sexy green is really cool. It's really, really cool. With the outside rim edge, totally got this wet. It sucks and stepped on it. It sucks again. And the dogs with their dog water, looking over the bowl. They're mad because they're leaving. They're leaving their house. But they're actually going to love the new yard. And I might wind up going to do some stuff at work for a while. So they might come with me and stay at work. Which would be kind of nice because everything would be nice and close. No more waiting. No more bullshit. There we go. 
that they'll make it stand out. Hey, what's up, Shin? Hope you're doing well today. And you see how I told you how that how that light right there would create a rim light technique, making it stand out again off the, the back side of the edge. I'm gonna have to pop right over here. Sorry about that, guys. Ooh, she rocking. That girl's rocking and rolling. Get me right in here just so she doesn't go anywhere. Cheeks would definitely be coming over there. About there. I arranged it. Definitely coming somewhere on there. Okay, some good stuff right there, right? No nose. Aliens don't have any nose, but let's. that film this head a little bit right there we go so we got a couple little alien traits in there let's go ahead and throw in this gray, again, seizing a little bit. And I'm okay with this, this Illuminati thing, this part to kind of look not as close or not as out as the details of the head. <laughs> so I'm gonna just go ahead and go right over, triangle again. Only try to spray that outside edge. And it's okay that it's off like that. It gives it a stagger, popped it out a little bit. I'm okay with that. Especially since it's not the color I really wanted. So I'm okay with that. And if you wanted to, you can go ahead and grab this. And you see how the light parts up there? We can kind of probably drag it up a little bit more higher. A little bit more higher through there. Then you can mess with rim light. See how the light lines here and the dark lines there? You can mess with rim light and drop shadow. And I can do a drop shadow on the back of the head like this. And you see now, now the head is getting a shape from left and right. 
and you know what? I'm now okay mentally with this charcoal gray. I wasn't, it's getting closer to the bottom of the thing. Yeah, this is a drop shadow. So mentally I'm feeling better with it. I was kind of scared. I wish I had black. It would have been so much better. Now you got an eight in hit for me. I'm feeling like I probably shouldn't have showed you all the shadowing techniques. I feel like I got to do some shadowing at the top here. That is making more steps, but it's okay. But yeah, I definitely want to try to get something a little bit more darker than what I'm shooting right now. So I see some forest green over there. Let's kick some of this stuff out. Oh, forest green's not working. Do 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 do. So I got some pro air black hiding. Dura black. I got the Endura black. This is actually my favorite black to use. But these two products don't mix well. The alcohol content is so much more on the Endura. I can leave this Endura on you for a week. And that shit will stay. Okay, I'm gonna knee her up. And I probably, if I'm already gonna shoot this Endura, if it shoots, after I get most of this, this in, if it shoots, I'll probably go over stuff. Part of them in the are going. I'm going to try pulling back the needle pumping it a few times, dropping it back, and turning up the air pressure. But yeah, she don't want to go. She don't want to blow anymore. There we go. Now she's blowing better. Now she's blowing better. Now I just got to get a good flow going on.
being aware of density, being aware of everything. I am going to have to go over some of that line that I did on the face because the outline should technically be darker. But now you can really start seeing that face coming in. You can see it. Yes, it's uh, the first one was a hybrid alcohol ink that's made out of, um, is it SP40? It's the same one that they use for makeup and hair products. And then the other one is also made with a high grade alcohol, but it's like alcohol, alcohol based. It's, it's what I use for when I want to fucking really want to make stuff look realistic or if I'm entering a competition and I want to be a dick and really want to win. So I start the day before or I'm doing a show. I started the day before and I wanted to stay. So that way I have already like a whole half day. Like it's my competitors already done. Yeah, I've done that. <laughs> Fucking ass. <laughs> but I'm feeling now that I can do those gray eyes. I think the gray eyes, I normally do the straight black ones. I think the green eyes will be a nice, nice different change up. Get a new into that butt. Um, so let's talk about body positioning. Um, yeah, like I said, every position that your client is on one side, you gotta match it on the other side. Um, the other thing too is um, when I do the back normally in this back part right here, I normally have them like bend over doggy style and that will drop their shoulders and flatten out this back. I like to use the back because it's a nice big surface that when you morph that way, it turns very, very flat. A little bit off, but it's okay. And then let's go ahead and just go back. Shin, what do you mean what happened? The position. I probably when I went like this, I probably went like that and kicked it out. But it, it's slightly off. Slightly off, but that's okay. See how it's turning on me. I don't normally put my knee inside the old clients. right there. It's going to make it look too tight. And I'll just move side over. It looks slightly off too because I did the drop shadow on this side. Just to show you guys how to do it. Which I should have never done. 
if I knew I was going to get this black. And I saw a little black in there. I was just like, mm, will it clog my shizzles? And that's what I was really worried about. But yeah, guys, that's pretty darn close to what needs to be done. I'm gonna fool around with this some more and just show you how a real outline with, with the dark color should have looked like. Oh, there we go. things to do with this stuff sometimes is to make it look pure. And there you go, guys. Got this Illuminati alien going on. I'll probably mess with it a little bit more. Evil Morty, what do you think, homie? What do you think? This is an hour of painting. Just an hour of painting, dude. Rushing through it. Actually, an hour and 30. Normal body paint, full body, competition stuff takes about six to eight hours so speed wise i did really well definitely want to break it up with a little bit more blue and probably some more yellow just for the shizzle the jizzles yeah and now we're officially into the after party so i can become twisted like sister Listen, sister. So that is great, great, great because you know I ain't the nut one. I ain't the average man. I'm yellow beaver. Oh well, that means amazing to me, girl. I was like, dude, did my gun just go out? I'd be like, I made it all the way to that car. Perfect though. Perfect though. But yeah, let's go ahead and open up this with a little bit of a little bit of blue. I'm gonna just do the same technique as last time. Put in some white. Put in a little bit of blue. My date's going to be like, what the fuck is all over your fucking ass? Why are you covered with paint? Be like, uh, I was a painting. Girls just got to know, dude. They're going to have to compete with the paint. Girls got to compete with the paint. You think that you think I'm spending my time looking at the girls? Hell no. I'm I'm looking at this paint, bro. 
I'm looking at this paint going, how's this paint doing drag? <laughs> I'm too busy looking at the art to be looking at the girls. It's so effed up. God, what is wrong with me? I should be looking at the girls and instead I'm too busy painting. It, it's so funny. I get that so much too. You ain't looking at the girls too? I'm like, no. I ain't looking at the girls. Too busy painting. Too busy painting. To be looking at them girls. Uh, call it alien body paint. Thank you, Emoji J. <laughs> Baby girl, shut up. <laughs> yeah. Come here. That is it. Shut up. Baby girl, come on. So let's go ahead and rim light some of this stencil work that I just did and some of the old stencil work. I'm doing a big no-no. Well, actually it's not, it's not orange, but it's yellow. But this yellow is, this yellow is powerful. Let's go over some of this yellow in here too. Let's muck it out. No, just give it a little look. It's hilarious. Man down, man down. starting blending in a little bit too much. 